Shalom, Yeshabala. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophelakim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Alone to Israelite foreigner brothers that are like the heathens. But the line of outside goes back to the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal Amah for the lesson. You know, today's lesson will be entitled, All is Vanity. You know, that's going to go on some precepts. And uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemot Shai. You know, um, all is vanity. You know, all that is in this world, Akim, is vanity at the end of the day. You know, because, you know, we understand that this kingdom, you know, has an expiration date. You know, as Elder Zaha from GMS Mississippi often says, you know, and we understand that this is a temporary kingdom, so-called kingdom, you know, and, you know, at the end of the day, you know, all the all the things in the society is going to be burned up, you know, except for the elect men of Israel that will be saved and women and children, you see. So I just wanted to go into it. And I'm going to start with the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse 8. It says, Vanity of vanity, saith the preacher, you know, which the preacher is King Solomon, you know, because King Solomon is the one that wrote the book of Ecclesiastes and the Proverbs as well. It says, All is vanity. And that's right, man. You know, and this is, this is coming from a man that had everything. King Solomon, he was the richest man ever, the wisest man ever. You know, and he had everything, man. All the women, all the gold, all the silver, all the precious stones, all the animals. He had everything, you know. So if you if you was to, you know, apply. That, so this is a man that who we should believe because he had everything, you see. And when you look that word vanity, um, it's from the. It's from the Hebrew word habal, habal, which means vapor, breath, you know, vainly, you know, which breath, you know, if once you breathe, is is there, like, uh, which, this is the same name as uh, Abel, habal, which his name uh, means transitory, because he was here one minute and he was gone the next, you know, when Cain had, his brother Cain killed him, you know. So that's the same thing in this life. You know, everything that you gather up in this society, you know, is is here the minute and going the next. You know, according to Proverbs 23. And, um, because our people that's rich on this side, so-called rich that made it, they're going to lose everything, man. And they're going to be ashamed, you know, for what they've done when they come back in the kingdom. You see? This is Proverbs 23 and 5. It says, Will thou set thy eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven, man. So your riches, they can they can they could be they they could be taken away from you, man. You know? And when you go to Ecclesiastes chapter 1, in verse 13, it says. Um, and I gave my heart to seek and to and search out wisdom by concerning all things that are done in heaven. This sort of real happy how given to the sons of men to be exercised therewith. Right, so King Solomon he knew about birds, he knew about plants, you know, he knew he knew the spirits of different spirits of people, you know, he knew the spirit of Edomites when you read it, you know, spirit of the righteous, you know, he knew everything, man. You know. But this is what he said. Verse 14 it says, I have seen all the works that are done under the sun. And behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit, man. So he knew that he knew all this is vain at the end of the day, except for worshiping and praising and doing what Yahweh Bashmar Shai told told us to do as men, as Israelite men. You see? Now we jump down <coughs> to verse um 
two and seventeen. Let's see, uh, Ecclesiastes two and seventeen said, "Therefore I hated life, because that the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me, for all the vanity and vexation of spirit. Yea, I hated all my labor which I had taken under the sun, because I should leave it unto the man that shall be after me." And who know whether he shall be a wise man or a fool, man? You know, if we understand that King Solomon's son was a fool, his son was Rehoboam, you know, which he didn't listen to the elders that had grew up that was with Solomon, but he listened to his homeboys that he grew up uh, talking about Rehoboam. You know, and hence the kingdom was split, you know, and Rehoboam, he was a fool, he was wicked. He gone to his account. It says, yet shall he have rule over all my labor wherein I have labored and wherein I have showed myself wise in the sun. This also is vanity, right? So King Solomon is saying, you know, all this is vain, man. You know? So how much more than us when we don't have anything in this world, I can This is coming from a man that had everything, you know? So how much more for us? We don't, we don't own anything in this world. So it really should be vanity to us. You know, because right now, folly is set in great dignity, man. Everybody that's that's in that folly spirit seems to get exalted. Esau seems to exalt these people and fund these guys that has, um, you know, led our people astray from Yahweh by Shimon Shai. Which, that's all an agenda do, to do so anyways in the first place. You know, but this was the mindset of King Solomon, man. Ecclesiastes 12. In verse 13, it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So let's sum, sum up sum up the whole matter of things. It says, fear Yahweh, the Most High Yahweh, and keep his commandments, for this is a whole duty of men. So that's our purpose, Akim, is to fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai, keep his commandments to the best of our ability. You know, because we understand that it's the Lord that blesses us. It's the Lord that gives us riches, you know, and he takes them away. You see? So we rather be in the good graces with our power, Yahweh by Shimon Shai, you know, than to, you know, you be perverse and be a fool. You got riches, man. You see, we, we, you know, I'd rather be poor but still keep my integrity and worship the true living God, our power, Yahweh by Shimon Shai, that made heaven and earth, than you to be rich on this side, but you be a, poo, you be a fool and you perverse in your vow because you did some vile things to get what you got on this side because this kingdom is ran by Satan. You see? Now let's go. So that was King Solomon's mindset, man. Just, just let us hear the conclusion of the whole man of fear you how and keep his commandments, man. As Israelite, man, that's our whole purpose on earth. That's what we were here to do. You know? Because we understand it's the Lord that blesses our hands, so he's going to, he, he'll give us the things that we want. You know? Now let's go to Sirach, chapter 23, verse 27. It says, And they that remain shall know. This one of my favorite priests. Uh, uh, you know, I bring this priest up a lot often in my, my lessons because, hey, it just says a lot, man. You know? This is uh, Sirach and Apocrypha, 23 and 27 and 28. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord, man. That's which that's which that's our purpose. That's our whole duty as men. You know? It is great glory to follow Yahweh by Hashem Shai and to perceive of him as long life, man. So it's great glory to follow Yahweh by Hashem Shai to be in good graces with our power, man. You know, because Lord willing, part of the elect, we're going to be written in the book of life. You know, we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh's side. And that's way better than having riches on this side and you being, and you, and you're, and you perverse. You know, you know, as Yahweh's side said, that which is highly esteemed amongst men is, 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 is an abomination in the sight of the most high Yahweh, man. So, yeah, you can be esteemed on this side. But guess what? You're an abomination in the sight of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, the Lord rejected you. You see? And we don't want to be rejected by Yahweh by Shimon Shai. And that's a horrible feeling. You know? 
So yeah, I guess we'll make a listen on that. You know, all this vanity. You know, everything is vain at the end of the day, man. And I forgot to um, look it up. I forgot to read this in the beginning. But I looked it up on Google, vanity. We went to the second definition. It means the quality of being worthless or futile, man. Pointless, worthlessness. So everything in this society is worthless, Akim, except for worshiping our power, Yahweh Bashima Shai, man. You know, and I end off on this precept. <clears throat> First John 2 and 15. It says, Love not the world, either the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, it is not the Father, but as a but is of the world, and the world passes away. This world that we're living in right now, you know, the world of Esau, you know, Esau's kingdom, and the lust thereof, but he that do I keep doing the will of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, Lord willing me endure, we're going to abide forever, man. Our names is going to be written in the book of life. It's going to abide forever, just like read about our righteous forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Noah, that I worship Yahweh by Shimon Shai and kept their integrity while living in a, in a wicked world, man. You know? So, yeah, I can. Uh, Lord willing, I can zedify. And until next time, Shalom.